I'm all for making it more cutthroat, more competitive. Um, I'm like, probably won't be very popular for saying this, but I'm all for less players and less tour cards and the, you know, the best of the best. Why wouldn't I speak my mind? I guess. Um, you ask me my opinion and I give it to you. I'm not going to stand up here and lie to you. I guess my thing is I'm all for more cutthroat and more competitive and, and trying to give pathways to the younger generation. So through Corn Ferry, through PJ Tour U, through like I'd rather have, have more of a like, yeah, instead of I just feel like there's a lot of categories on tour that, you know, people <clears throat> are sort of still benefiting off what they did like five or ten years ago. Yeah. And like I, I feel like the, the most competitive professional golf tour in the world, you should have to come out and prove yourself year, year after year after year. Yeah, so I would say, you know, take the best events from all over the world and, and try to create something through that because those events still have history and legacy and tradition and all the things that are still very important in golf. I think, you know, there's been some experiments with, you know, creating new tournaments out of nothing and I don't know if they've really captured the imagination um, of, of the general public and, and that's that's what you want. You want to... Like, why is the Masters the Masters? Why is, why is this tournament this tournament? Why, is, why, why are the more historical tournaments the ones that are revered so much in our game? It's because they have history and people remember Ben Hogan winning or Jack Nicklaus or these guys. And it's all about trying to, trying to bridge the, I guess trying to bridge the, the present back to the past and the people that came before us and you know I think that that's important.